Hi everyone, it's Deepika, and today I'm going to show you how I do my hair post shower. Okay, first thing first is before anything, I put on some of this Hue Glow. It has nothing to do with the hair, but I just got out of the shower, and when my face feels really dry, I like to put a little bit of the Hue Glow on my entire face because this is really a serum that just gives your face a little bit of a glow. And honestly, you just feel better when you're doing your hair. Gonna be really real with y'all on a normal day. Typically just let my hair air dry. That's, that's what I do. And I really like how it looks right after. But on days where I'm like doing Zooms or interviews and things like that, this is kind of the process I do to blow dry my hair, which still is real simple like you're about to see. Okay, so first things first, I put in some of this Living Proof product right here. So I just spray it from the roots down to the bottom of my hair. Dang, my hair's getting long, but you know, not the easiest to get a haircut right now. Like I said, I don't have a method, but my favorite thing about this product is that it detangles your hair, which as you can see, I could use some detangling right now. I literally just got out of the shower and my hair is so wet. And then my tried and true product here, you may have heard of it, a wet brush. Look how, look how much it's been used. It's literally like falling apart. But I still stick to the fact that the wet brush is the best for detangling and not, you know, creating split ends in your hair. What is it, like five bucks, less than five bucks? So I'm all for it. I am going to put a heat protectant in. This is also from Living Proof. Smooth blowout concentrated. It just, listen, the reason I like this more than it protecting my hair is that it cuts the blow dry time in half. I do two pumps of it, rub it into my palms like so, and I avoid the roots and just kind of use my fingers as if they're like a comb. All right. My favorite part slash my least favorite part, blow drying. I don't have a technique of just like flipping, using a brush or, or anything like that. No, I literally just blow dry my hair. I just take a blow dryer, I use the Dyson, this baby right here, and I get at it. That's what happens. Real, real, like, you know, high tech stuff. used to pretend like their blow dryer was a mic when they were a kid and just like sing and pretend you're like Celine Dion. Just me? Okay, cool. I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, what shampoo I have in my um, shower. It's currently the Fakai shampoo. I love it because it's like sulfate free, paraben free, cruelty free, vegan, and sustainable. And it really limits the amount of frizz I have in my hair. And I realized my whole life I grew up wondering why I had frizzy hair and just thought it was genetics, which probably part of it is. But by using a shampoo that was sulfate free, it was a game changer. Also new development in my life, I, Deepika Mathiala, have bangs which like, this is like day three of it. So I'm still like figuring out life with bangs, you know? It's kind of fun, but sometimes, sometimes being the last couple of times, I'll like Selena it up and like have fun with it in my face. You know, I just like the optionality of it all. Like I'll do some fun looks, but most days, this is what goes down on, especially the days again, like I said, that I don't want to do much. And really the biggest thing I don't like is frizz. So this um, Gold Lust from Orbe, first of all, I love all things Orbe, I always have. 
I take a little bit of it and it nourishes your hair, but it really helps like defrizz. I really focus it on my ends because that's usually where my hair is the driest, you know, at the roots it's a little more oily. And then go through with the blow dryer one more time. I've been liking more and more the non um, straightened, wanded hair, just like, just a, you know, a nice natural blown out hair and just something to comp the frizz with. And this gold lust stuff is pretty bomb for that. Okay, so one more little blowout session, especially on the ends. curling wand, twisting your hair and blow drying it. Just gives like a little natural curl, nothing too intense, you know? I would describe my hair on the drier side. So anything I can do to just give it some like strengthening, hydration, you know, especially as you start putting in like a straightener and stuff if I choose to do that. So I use this stuff from In Common. Um, I went to their salon in LA to get my hair done and the owner, um, used this on me and Rihanna and she used it on me and it was amazing. So I like to mist this into my hair. You can do it on damp hair, you can do it on stylized hair to give it a refresher. So really after this y'all, I just let it kind of air dry and settle in and it'll literally look like this, but just drier. That's what ends up happening in like 10 minutes from now. So five minute face, everyone down. All right, five minute face. I fill in with a little bit of brow. Brow gel. Because I have Hugo on my face and it gives me a glow, on my typical day, I don't put on foundation or a concealer. I rock my dark circles, which has taken a long time to embrace, but I'm finally there. Now I got the glow on my face. I'm gonna take my lip tinted hue stick, my trusted multi stick. Clearly I use it all the time as a lit on my cheeks. Put on my eye. Super buildable, blendable. And mascara and I'm good to go. This one's from Jones Road, Bobbi Brown's new brand. I love it. It's really like intense. Who doesn't love some lifted, bold lashes, you know? And that's really it. If I wanted some lip balm, I typically take my lip tinted Unity Balm Gloss. It's clearly been used. It's a face gloss, but also a lip balm. And yeah, y'all, now I'm just gonna go get ready. And I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, I hope you got a little entertained and enjoyed this. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I don't know, I'm just gonna go do a Zoom call or something. Peace out. <laughs>